Squirrel! Get out of my way! Squirrel! <laughs> Somebody dropped their load. Hey everyone, MDZ here. Had a bit of a surprise this morning. Um, I live in an apartment complex, if you haven't figured that out already. And um, they were power washing the floor above mine. And the floor is made of wood. So when I, when I left my uh, apartment into the hallway, it was just dripping water everywhere. This guy hasn't seen me. Oh, now he does. That person just doesn't care. Unfortunately, got a little bit wet this morning. Thankfully, I uh, covered up the GoPro to make sure that uh, no water got into any place it's not supposed to. Um, beautiful spring morning, Monday morning. And unfortunately, I was uh, driving in my car yesterday on the interstate headed to grocery shopping and I unfortunately came across a uh, motorcycle. I don't, it was at um, a loop ramp for one of those cloverleaf interchanges, like the 270 degree turn. And the, uh, it, it was only the motorcyclists involved from what I could tell. I just saw the, I just saw the bike. It actually honestly looked like, um, it looked like a red and silver CBR250R. I could be wrong, but it was definitely a sport bike. And I saw the rider down, and there were a couple of cars stopped, and they appeared to be helping the motorcyclist out. This car is trying to be a motorcycle. Can he fit? Ah, uh, that guy helped. Good job. Man, there must be one, like, one landscaping truck just, like, dropping um, mulch everywhere. Come on, secure your load, guys. That's what she said. And <laughs> anyway, um, so the uh, so the rider um, he went into like one of those steel guardrails. So those things absolutely suck if you hit them. They can they are really hard and they can tear your bike apart. Oh, more mulch. What the what the heck? Anyway, <laughs> I was driving by like going like 75 miles an hour in the left lane. If I was in the right lane, I probably would have stopped to see if I could help in any way. But I was flying in the left lane. There was no way I was going to be able to stop safely. Plus, it looked like there were other cars stopped already helping. So I just continued to the grocery store. I checked on my Waze app later, a little bit, about five minutes later. And I saw that police did indeed arrive. So, and when I came back to the scene, about maybe 40 minutes later, the crash was gone, so that was telling me that the the incident was relatively minor. I mean, the guy could still be very well in the hospital, but they didn't have to do an investigation like they would look for a very serious crash. So, I mean, I talked to a couple of my other friends uh, in this area for a ride, and I told them that exact interchange where this happened, and one person actually that, that intersection scared him when he was, when he was learning how to ride because it's kind of a tricky apex. And he also supposed that maybe target fixation may have been a bit of a factor. Now, I know target fixation is obviously a big issue with us. I've done it before. I target fixated until a lot last week. So it's completely believable that, uh, you know, he may have just took the corner too fast or probably going to say it right into the guardrail. Either way, definitely don't want to be seeing accidents like that happening. So be safe, everybody. So while I'm still down, headed down the highway, headed to work, uh, I just want to give you a bit of an update about my uh, search for another bike. Um, honestly, I, I know in a previous vlog I mentioned I kind of wanted a supermoto. I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, it's mainly because I just can't find really a, a good deal on them. I don't know if people like them too much or they're just like too new of a thing.
bank, but um, I don't want to buy new for my next bike. And I feel like for the case of a Supermoto, I would either have to buy, I either would have to buy new or I'd have to buy something that would require a lot of maintenance and a lot of upkeep. So unfortunately, well, I guess fortunately and unfortunately, you know, I'm really just looking for the best deal to be right around town like I am right now, headed to work, headed to different places in the uh, DC area. So I'm probably going to end up with a 600, most likely an R6. Um, I'm hoping to honestly make the transaction this weekend. I already have a friend who's interested in my CBR. Um, if he, just, if he continues to go for it, um, I'll probably sell, uh, sell it to him next this coming weekend. So it may be actually pretty quickly I'll have my next bike. This may very well be the last vlog on this bike. Although the weather's supposed to be beautiful this week, I may keep vlogging a little bit more. Just if I have stuff to talk about. So, um, yeah, pretty exciting. Hopefully get in a more powerful bike that somebody out of that car way up there. I don't 